Are we live? We're live. Great. Today I'm going to be making a dish uh, based on based on a dish called uchiviche aruchi. The uh, uchiviche is a play on uh, a white fish, like a snapper, combined with uh, citrus and peppers and different other components, again, to make that perfect bite. Um, the one I'm making today is with uh, sea bream, a black snapper from Tokyo, with some uh, citrus and uh, organic tomatoes. And I'm going to use a little bit of uh, uh, orange oil and some spice as well to kind of pull it all together. My name is Tyson Cole, and I'm the owner and executive chef of Uchi and Uchiko restaurants in Austin, Texas. The key to this is I'm using a Japanese knife called a yanigiba. It's a, it's a knife uh, forged in Japan, usually used to cut raw fish. It's a single edge blade. Uh, one edge is flat, the other is beveled. Because of this flat side, there's less friction. So when you cut things, it's smoother, less grab, as opposed to a double edged knife like this, which is a Western style knife, you have to sharpen two sides. This you just sharpen one side, flat like this, and the other side you don't sharpen at all. With a knife in my hand for 10,000 hours is what got me here today. So we're gonna take the fish, combine it with all the other ingredients. At Uchi, the whole idea is, came from sushi. So sushi being the greatest delicacy in the world is eaten by the bites, bite-sized pieces. That's how we kind of do my food at all the restaurants is with this thinking of creating the perfect bite. Um, we do that by making composed dishes that are shared and chopstick friendly. And we put components together that we're hoping that the people eat at the same time to make these perfect bites. It's a ceviche of black snapper with yellow tomato, fresh citrus, some various aromatics, orange oil, and some candied quinoa. Based on a dish uchi called uchiviche. I feel very blessed. I, I fell into this and became a sushi chef just because I fell in love with the food and I like to paint and it seemed like something that would be cool to be behind a bar and use a knife and talk to people and cut fish. At that time, I had no idea that five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years later that this whole trend would start and suddenly like food would become uh, popular, food TV would become popular. They come with a term called foodies and suddenly this whole thing blew up and now everybody's into food. Again, when I started, I had no idea that that was going to happen. Um, but I think it's cool, and I'm glad that I'm on the cusp of it. So it's fun to think of a dish and come up with a dish, order a product, bring it in, and take photos of it from start to finish. A great food shot on Instagram has to do with the angle, the lighting. To me, there's three basic core angles. There's the above shot, three-quarter shot, and straight on, put the phone here, and close-up shot, you know what I mean? I take pictures of everybody's food. That's my life. <laughs>